Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl life well, team. I'm back with another video in today's video. I'm gonna be telling you my natural hair growth journey. So if you haven't already, you make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and yeah, I'm gonna get started. So a lot of people ask me like the Wolfie tell us your hair growth journey and stuff like that. So I've actually been natural all my entire life. I would say up until eighth grade when I decided to get my hair straight and out um keratin treatment uh by the way worst idea ever because it damaged my hair completely so yeah i did that for my eighth grade i think prom i went my hair straight because you know why not for a change so when i straightened my hair it looked nice but like honestly y'all it's very damaging to my hair so i pretty much like it damaged my hair really well i ain't gonna lie so then my freshman year going to high school i still had the keratin treatment in my hair so I decided to cut my hair that year. So that was like, I want to say 2018, that's when I cut my hair. And then ever since then, I've just done like blowouts. I, well, I don't really do blowouts like that. Let's, let's be real. I was just braid my hair and then my hair would be growing and stuff like that. So actually today, my hair is actually really long. And it has grown a lot so ever since I cut it. I haven't cut it recently. Um, I do plan on tying my hair very, very soon. So we'll see about that. So um, I'll probably won't use like a permanent dye color just for that reason because I don't feel like bleaching my hair because like why would I bleach my hair at this moment because I'm gonna be honest with you if you have black hair like me like 4C hair I feel like bleaching your hair is the worst idea in my opinion so my type of hairstyle like type of texture hair I have is very 4C hair to be honest and I'll actually put some pictures of my hairstyles I've done so you guys can actually see how much volume it takes and honestly when i do my hair at the salon they charge a lot because of how big my hair is like it's really it's a lot of hair so yeah that's how i personally feel but if you're trying to start your natural hair growth journey just do it because it will help and also i would say do a lot of perfect protective styles um honestly i don't really do like long braids because if i do like it'll get past behind my back it probably all the way down to the floor so that's why i don't do that but it's really important to take care of your hair, especially if your your type of hair is like a four A through four C. So it just really depends what you want because at the end of the day, it's your hair. So damaging your hair is really bad. I know. So I I know people that have strained their hair every day, like with four C hair, and it's really bad. Um, for those asking, I've never gotten this press before. I don't think I ever will. That's literally the same thing as um keratin treatment. So. Yeah, I'm not trying to damage my hair, unless, if you do your soap press maybe like, every year, I feel like that's not damaging it, but, yeah, so I haven't straightened my hair ever since 8th grade year, that's kind of crazy, and, yeah, so, for, if I have like a party or something, I'll probably straight, use like, um, wigs and stuff like that, like, glueless wigs, but other than that, I ain't doing it, for my graduation pictures, I actually wore a frontal wig, so, it wasn't bad, I think my wig was like 50 bucks, I got it off Tanache, so Tanache hair, so that's how I see it. Like, don't, do not, don't. It's not worth damaging your hair, in my opinion. But yeah, that's my story of natural hair growth. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below, and yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.